like it as much as I did. No! Down where it's way wet! Life down in the sea is better! I don't know. I don't know. Down where it's... Well, I don't know. Just cut that part. Do, 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 do. Hi everybody! Welcome! My name is Phoenix and today I'm going to be doing a review on the book called Alicia in Atlantis, The Forbidden Vial by Natalie Lane. Natalie sent me an email asking me to do an honest review for her book. She also sent me a second copy to give to one of my subscribers who comments on this video. So if you want to win this book, please subscribe to my channel and comment down below. So in case you can't tell already by my outrageous outfit and the book's title, it's basically about a girl named Alicia who goes to Atlantis. And I think the reason why Natalie wants me to review this book is because me and Alicia look exactly the same. We both have long, dark brown hair, and we're both 12, so we're practically the same person. And when this book gets turned into a movie, I think she wants me to play the main character because, well, we look exactly the same, but also, I'm a great actor, and I humbly accept. Now, let's get on with the review. So, this book is considered as an upper middle grade fantasy novel. Um, so it's kind of like the books Percy Jackson, His Dark Materials, and a whole bunch of other books like that. So I have not read a lot of chapter books, not like my friend Addie has. She reads a ton. Like every single movie I've seen, she's read the book about. Um, I'm more of like a movie graphic novel kind of girl. Um, and that's just because I like the pictures. It helps me understand the story a little bit better. Um, I will say that I really like the cover. I like the pictures and the typing over here. I just like it. Um, I, I do really wish that there was more of that throughout the book. Um, but I think that's just me. So, yeah, uh, but what's nice about this book is that the chapters are really short, so you can go through the book really fast, and you can be on, like, chapter 11, go tell your parents, like, I'm on chapter 11, and they'll be like, so proud of you. Um, I also like that at the end of each chapter, there's, like, a cliffhanger, which wants to, like, you want to read it more, like, oh, what's going to happen next? I've got to find out. Um, so, yeah, that's probably what makes the book go really fast, and that's good. That's what you want in a chapter book. So I think that this book is really well written. So some of the other things that I really liked about this book were the characters. I liked how they were described, their little details, their traits. Um, I, it helped form a picture in my mind, and that was really helpful. And uh, two of some of the main ideas were adventure and friendship, and those two are really important to me, so I can relate. Um, I also really liked the idea of the story. I thought it was really cool, just a cool concept overall. So I'm going to try to summarize a little bit of this without giving too much away. So it's about a girl, Alicia, and she's a regular human girl with regular legs, and she goes to a regular school, and um, she's a little emotional, another trait that we both share. Um, and then she gets on a boat, she doesn't have a life vest, may I point out, and that's like number one rule of safety, and she doesn't even know how to swim. Um, then she goes really far out, then her boat sinks, and so she's drowning, and then eventually she opens her mouth, and then, like, discovers she can breathe water. Hmm, I wonder why. Also, kids do not do that at home, because you probably can't breathe water. Um, then this water boy comes out in the middle of nowhere and uh, brings her to the lost city of Atlantis. And that's where she figures out her real parents are actually from Atlantis. And it's like an entire society down there. Um, and she's trying to figure out like who her parents are, where they are, if they're even like alive still. And along the way, she meets and makes um, friends enemies, and she might have developed a small little crush on somebody, so you'll have to read the book in order to figure out who it is. 
So if you like stories that are about emotional 12-year-old girls that find themselves in the middle of an adventure that includes mermaids, the lost city of Atlantis, lots of action, and near-death experiences, then I think you would really like this book. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of my review for the book called Alicia in Atlantis, The Forbidden Bile by Natalie Lane. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put a comment down in the chat below so you can get a chance to win this book. I hope you like it as much as I did. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody!